Hello guys, welcome to the next video tutorial on Java programming for beginners. In the last video, we have seen how we can install Java in our Windows 8 or Windows 8.1 operating system. Same uh, will be the procedure for uh, installing Java on Windows 7 also. Now in this video, we will see how we can install Eclipse IDE on our Windows operating system. Now IDE stands for integrated development environment which helps you to code your program so for example ide is an editor which will help you to write your program and compile your program and eclipse is one such ide and most used uh, ide in terms of java development so let's see how we can install Eclipse IDE on our Windows operating system. So first of all, open your uh, favorite browser and search for Eclipse IDE. And the first link hopefully comes here is www.eclipse.org. Just click this link here. And in here, you will be able to see this download button. Click this download button. And in here, you will be able to see different uh, uh, versions of uh, Java so not different versions of Java but different versions of Eclipse IDE so Eclipse IDE uh, comes in different versions for example Eclipse IDE for Java developers Eclipse IDE for Java EE developers which is basically for uh, web development and uh, all such uh, programs there is uh, Eclipse IDE for C++ or PHP and other languages also. But right now we are interested in developing Java applications. So we will download uh, this first option, which is Eclipse IDE for Java development. Okay. Now, depending upon the system type of your computer, if it's 64-bit or 32-bit, you need to... Uh, download one of uh, these uh, zip files so to check which system type you have you can just uh, search for uh, system on your computer and and in system type you will be able to see that mine is 64 bit operating system but if you have 32 bit operating system you need to download uh, this thing so i will click this windows 64 bit and then it will uh, redirect me to the mirror uh, location which is nearer to my PC's location. So this is the nearest location to my PC but other mirror locations are uh, down so you can choose your uh, mirror location. I will click this link and then I will be able to save this uh, zip file. So it's a zip file, so don't be confused uh, that uh, it should be executable. It's not an executable file, but it's a dot zip file. So I will wait for uh, this to download. And once it will be downloaded, we will see how we can configure Eclipse on our uh, Windows operating system. So my download is complete now. Now I can uh, just open this uh, zip file. So I will just open this uh, zip file and I will minimize everything. And this zip file contains a folder called Eclipse. So uh, this zip file we are going to extract in our C folder. So I will just extract this to our C folder. Okay. So just extract to uh, uh, the C folder and I will wait for the extraction to complete and once this extraction is complete I can see this Eclipse folder inside my C folders or folder of my computer so in C I can see this Eclipse and in here all the Eclipse files are extracted now in order to run this you can just double click this Eclipse icon and you can also create a shortcut or to it and then you can drag and drop to your desktop and then you can double click this shortcut or you can click this eclipse icon from here also so i will double click it 
and this is uh, the error which is commonly you know occurs while uh, you uh, are installing uh, eclipse and uh, you uh, you know it's your first time when you install eclipse so don't uh, worry this error is J jvm terminated uh, exit code is equal to 2 and this error comes generally whenever you have something uh, wrong configured in your path or environment variable and generally uh, from somewhere you have configured this path c slash program data slash oracle slash java slash java path uh, in your environment variable remember in the last video i have told you to set environment variable for java jdk8 and jre8 those environment variable are not responsible for this error this error is uh, the uh, due to the environment variable setting of the c slash program data slash uh, uh, java program and this okay so i will uh, open notepad or wordpad to uh, you know give this location to you so that you can see it uh, exact path so this path if you see this uh, error this error then you need to go to this path and see whether this location exists or not so i will just copy this path to my folder explorer and I can see this path exists. So most probably this environment variable exists in my computer. So I will go to my system, search for system, and then uh, go to advanced system settings. And in here, go to environment variable. And in here, go to path, okay? And I can see directly here the first path is C slash program data slash Oracle slash Java slash Java path. So just double click this path variable in system variable and you need to delete this uh, path which is wrongly configured, right? So just search for this path in your environment variable here. So I can easily find uh, this path I can see that this path is there so I just need to delete this path from my uh, system variables and click OK here okay and um, once again click OK and click OK so once I have done that I will be able to uh, run my Eclipse once again so I will click uh, this eclipse icon once again and now eclipse runs so i wanted to uh, you know intentionally uh, reproduce this error so if you uh, see this error you will be able to find the solution now first for the first time whenever eclipse starts on your computer it will ask for the location where all your um, projects will be saved and by default it will be saved in c slash users in slash whatever your computer name is slash workspace so by default all your programs will be saved in this folder if you want to change this folder you can change it but i will leave it as default for now i will click ok and then eclipse will open in some moment Now Eclipse is open on my computer, right? So I will just maximize it and I will be able to see uh, this message. Welcome to the Eclipse ID for Java developers. And you can see they have some tutorials, samples, overview and what's new. So to create a new project in uh, Eclipse ID, you just 
need to go to this file option here and go to new and we are going to create a new java project so ju just click java project and in here in project name you just need to give the name to your projects for example my first project okay and just uh, you know for uh, the simplicity you always uh, give your name to your project in camel case starting with uh, the capital letter each word so my in my m is capital first f is capital project p is capital so it's called camel case so it's convention to give uh, names like this and just uh, all things are okay you can just click next and in here you will be able to see that uh, this will be your project folder and it, in that there will be a source folder it's okay click finish and once you do that eclipse will create a my project folder for you okay so you can click at the corner and open this perspective it's called per perspective and in this my first project you will be able to see there is a folder called source now in this folder we can create a simple class and this is just for testing whether eclipse is working the in the next video i will show you how to properly configure a project and how to create your first java project uh, you know in a proper way so in this uh, source just right click the source and create new class and give the class name so you can give the name like my class for example and just click this option uh, which is which method subs would you like to create just check this option which is public static void main option here okay so just check this option here which will create a main method we will see what uh, our classes and main method in uh, java but for now we just want to check whether it's working or not just click finish and we create a class called my class called java, dot java and in here you will be able to see uh, uh, this kind of class and in here we are going to uh, print something so for example we want to print something uh, we can just uh, write here system system not sz but system system dot out dot print ln for print line okay and in this print line we will just print hello world so i will just print this but let me change it to my keyboard layout and we will print hello world okay so i will explain this in detail for, but for now we will just check it and then we are going to run this program but first of all we will build this so i will right click my project and i'm going to uh, for example run as java application and then it will give me this uh, save and launch option i will click ok and now i can see hello world printed on the console here so that means eclipse ide is properly configured in my system and i will be able to compile my java program so that's it for this video in the next video we will see how to properly uh, you know configure our first java project and what are all these uh, you know names classes and methods 
means in Java. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment and subscribe and bye for now.